Hi friends and welcome to finally another video I low-key enjoyed making my last video so I finally made another one, yay! I do plan to upload consistently given I'm not too busy with school and stuff that kind of things yeah I'm reading a script here on my laptop <laughs> so today's video will be a bit different than the last one because I'm going to implement painting into this video well also as you can see from the title here somewhere I'm going to design a Harry Potter book cover with my own twist I'm not going to bore you with um, this intro anymore so I hope you enjoyed this episode of Design With Me, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So here's the prompt that my friend gave me. As you can see, I'm starting to sketch out uh, the Goblet of Fire. I pulled out some official artworks from Google, basically. Here, I thought to make a poster again. A quote from uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire that my friend gave me. Honestly, I don't even know what to explain on this part because it's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, I'm speed painting on this one, I'm sketching out the Goblet of Fire based on the designs I found. Oh, also, uh, the process for this, uh, for me to paint this goblet, was I think an hour or so. It was because my laptop kept, uh, my laptop kept doing that. The scratch, uh, the full scratch disk. I kept cleaning my storage again and again, but it sadly didn't work that well so that's my this is like my second footage So here I'm looking for another palette, Harry Potter palette. I chose this eyeshadow palette because it looked cool. By the way, I'm a Ravenclaw. The whole vibe of this artwork will be like Ravenclaw-ish sorry to um, Hufflepuff, Gryffindors, and Slytherins out there so yeah, the palette will be dominated by blue and gold well actually, actually Ravenclaw's bronze and blue if I'm not mistaken yeah, it, it will have that kind of vibe you'll see it for yourself I don't even know what I'm doing on this voiceover because 
it's all pretty much self-explanatory and I feel like I, I don't know, I just want to talk and my friends prefer it when, when I talk but I'm just not energetic when I talk like this uh, sad maybe I just don't have the confidence yet but I don't know Uh, maybe tell me in the comments if you'd like me to talk in the video or not so I will know to maybe give some variations Here I'm tweaking all the colors because I cannot decide what color to use. You can even skip through this video if you want uh, to see just the results or some kind of speed painting. Maybe not some people's kind of thing. But honestly, if you want to see the results, you you should just go to my Instagram at Abbyfryas and just check it out for yourself. You don't have to watch this video because I'm only doing it just for fun, just for my own pleasure and because my friend told me to. Today is um, what was it? 21st of October. Today and tomorrow will be the... No, actually today and tomorrow is when the Adobe Max Conference 2020 will be held online and so far I'm loving it because I get to know some new updates that will be happening and now I want an iPad because Illustrator and Photoshop is on iPad so I hope I'll be getting one of those for college Here you can see I'm trying out brushes and FX, see what that will happen. And here I'm downloading some textures from Freepak. Also I had a lot more fun on this one than the last one because uh, this one did not take too much energy from me. Whereas the last one, it, it drives me crazy. So yeah, this video is half the effort, I feel like. Who are you? Ruby is Hagrid, keeper of keys and grains of Hogwarts. Of course, you know all about Hogwarts. Sorry, sorry, no, I'm not. No? No, no, no. Blimey, Harry, didn't you ever wonder where your mom and dad learned it all? Huh? You're a wizard, Harry. fonts again honestly fonts looking for fonts the right fonts is it takes longest time to be honest it, it can take hours to find the right font 
so honestly i'm not trying too hard on this one i think i only used a font i recently downloaded tried it out in illustrator um, generated a smart object of it copy it into photoshop Actually, I kind of regret um, the parts after this. I actually liked it that way without any effects, but I decided to put a glue, an outer glue effect, like so. And I kind of regret it at the end, but it's too late now, I guess. I just don't want to. Uh, overthink it too much i'm trying out like i said i'm still learning i'm experimenting with fx and blending modes and photoshop and i'm gonna let this be a learning experience I can really make up my mind not uh, because in this video you can see I'm being totally indecisive I liked my illustration just not the typography not so much I liked uh, the fonts that I chose but the effects not so much but here it is, I'm finalizing the design, tried out some new stuff. And here are the results. So I mocked it uh, on a hardcover book, and that's how it looks like in the end. So you made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. I hope you did enjoy that video. But please don't don't please don't like this video. Don't don't subscribe to this channel and do not watch my next video if I upload another one. Thanks and goodbye. <laughs>